Hi everyone. Hello everyone. I am Marika Vijaykorn from Inspire Me. Today we are with another entrepreneur in Colombo. We are at the Cafe Noir here in Basaramulla. So we are about to start another exciting episode uh, conversation with the founder CEO of Ado Clothing and she is Senuri. So without further ado, let's get started with the conversation. Let's find out what her story has been, uh, the sort of challenges that she has gone through and uh, the advice and the lessons she would like to share with the future female entrepreneurs out there. Hi Senuri, how are you? Hi. I'm all good. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, Senuri, uh, how do you uh, define yourself or uh, let's talk about how you got into uh, this concept of designing a logo. Uh, I know that you were in a professional job and you made a very bold move to start on your own with the logo. Uh, so, let's discuss what made you realize that you wanted to do this on your own. Uh, how did you start? Um, to start with, I think I'm a pretty simple person as everyone else, but uh, I always believed in uh, doing what I love and doing what I am passionate about. So I had faith in uh, doing uh, the things I love and making uh, an inspiration out of it. So uh, also these uh, kind of dreams, the goals you have in life and the perspective you see uh, yourself how you're doing uh, in a certain age and what you want to be doing in your life. I think uh, coming up with my own designer label is more about that. Okay. It's more about personal growth and more about what I want to be doing and what I'm passionate about. So uh, I think working for a company is a different thing. I mean, you have to stay inside the frame, even though you're a designer, you have so many criteria and match when you're in the company, but doing your own thing is pretty different. It's, it's an exciting journey and it's designing your own career. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's doing what you believe in, what you want to see uh, coming out of yourself. So uh, it's more exciting and more fun than uh, working for a company. And also, I think it's a, it's a dream. So, so uh, that's why you decided to uh, you know, start your own brand, yeah? Yeah. Thanks uh, for that intro, uh, Senuri. So, next uh, question is about your outset, how you began the journey and uh, let's talk about the challenges that you had at the outset when it comes to funding your business, uh, finding your material, uh, to numerous challenges that you must have encountered at the beginning. And also let's discuss about the challenges you have now. You have come a long way. Uh, so let's talk about when you started uh, the business uh, officially and uh, the challenges you had back then and the challenges you have now and how do you succumb to the pressure? Very important. Let's discuss. Uh, starting uh, initially was actually, uh, yeah, it was pretty much of a challenge because uh, there's nobody in my family who is uh, doing anything to the fashion industry or uh, connected to apparel industry. So it was all on my own. Uh, the whole responsibility was on my head uh, to how to start this uh, and how to get this going and uh, also to find people, find uh, proper manufacturers and uh, proper uh, team to do this. So uh, the hardest thing was to actually uh, come up with the manufacturers uh, who would uh, give the end product uh, according to the quality I want. Uh, because uh, I believe in, I always put myself in my customer's shoes uh, and if I am not ready to pay uh, some amount for the product, I think uh, it's not fair to be selling them. Yeah. So being truthful to the business and uh, all of that, so I had to change from uh, a lot of manufacturers um, like skip the teams and all of that to find the proper person who would be manufacturing there, uh, who would be the uh, people I'm going to put on the team at all. And uh, yeah, that was the most challenging thing I can remember. So, how did you manage to uh, you know succumb to this pressure and find a solution to this? Because it's really important to the viewers out there who want to start a fashion brand in particular. But, you know, having that same challenge in mind, uh, so let's talk about how you managed to, you know, solve this. 
Yeah, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I have experience in industry for like okay. six years. So uh, I think always when you are running a company or being a founder of something, uh, not just the fashion brand, it could be anything. Uh, I think you have to know the job role of everybody under you. It's always good to know what the rest of the people in your team is doing so that uh, you can actually cope up with them and then tell them how to make uh, the job better and stuff like that because otherwise when you are doing something they could be like uh, no uh, this is it's hard to do this we can't do this yeah. uh, you can't take it up to this quality and stuff like that but i think when you know from the operator to the mechanic to the uh, cutter and the photographer everything when you have learned when you have knowledge in all of that job roles, it's easy to handle it. Yeah. It's easy so to overcome you know, all the challenges yeah. and it's yeah. easy to like cope up with them and talk and say this is what I want and this is how we need to improve. Alright, right. that is how it So uh, what Senuri tries to echo here is knowing the nitty gritties, uh, knowing from A to Z of your business uh, certainly helps you to uh, manage these sort of challenges. The challenge involved in people trying to mislead you, I would say. Yeah. yeah? So, Mostly. yeah, exactly. So, this does not mean that you have to start a business that uh, you have the experience already in. You can be start, you can start something. You can learn. I exactly. Mean, exactly. You can start the something. knowledge is out there. True. True. You can start right. something completely new, but you have to make sure that you will learn the process from end to end. Uh, Alright, that was an exciting as well as very important uh, insight. Thank you for that, Sanuri. Uh, so, why we have uh, spoken about the challenges that you uh, had at the beginning. So, let's also talk about who supported you in this journey. Let's talk about your support system. So, my question is, uh, of course, we have to pay gratitude to whoever who is supporting you, all your stakeholders. But let's more importantly talk about how you uh, manage to uh, maintain these relationships without having any breaks or without having any uh, issues with these stakeholders uh, who help you continuously to do your business because uh, the support that you are getting from the system certainly helps uh, your sustainability. So let's talk about that. Yeah, uh, so uh, mainly I would have to uh, mention my family first. I think no matter how strong or how independent you are, you always need that emotional support from your family and your friends of course, uh, I have a lot of best friends that are supporting this uh, brand and everything and uh, then moving on to the team and I adore like from as I mentioned earlier from operator to mechanic to other to pattern makers to everyone I think I'm so blessed to have a, a bunch of people who are very committed and with uh, hands on experience yes, with hands on experience and uh, about the support system, I should say uh, uh, this is something important. Uh, currently, the world is uh, running more on social media. It's more of a virtual world. I think after COVID and everything is no, no, really social. Yeah, yeah, completely. It's a virtual world. So uh, there are so many other female entrepreneurs that we supporting, and we keep supporting each other and giving shout outs, sharing stuff, and it's like that. Because uh, people see the businesses as a competition, but uh, what I believe is that everyone is unique in their own way. So I'm unique, you're unique, and you are out there that wants to start a business or whatever it is, they are all unique in their ways. So there's nothing to like see as a competitive thing or that you know you don't have to be afraid of anything that anyone is going to pass you and be like that. There's nothing like that. I think you have to be pretty supportive to your friends also because these are all people and they are struggling to get somewhere with their business. They are trying to make a journey a good one. So I think being supportive uh, matters. So all of the, uh, I have uh, a lot of supportive female entrepreneurs around me and I do the same for them and it is uh, it's the best thing uh, to keep your business going, I think, because uh, because yeah. even if you let's say yeah I don't know whether this, uh, this applies to you but I have heard from some entrepreneurs uh, this I, I heard this story from a, a girl who bakes cakes okay uh, so she also has a very a strong relationship uh, going on with the uh, rest of the makers in the industry so when she gets a bigger order and she can't manage it she shares the order with the rest. Yeah. 
and she gets support from the master from the daughters or the others are also doing it and it's a nice thing to see it's a nice experience isn't it without yeah, it is. always being competitive in the industry yeah. uh, you know supporting each other also in so our case yes. also that happens sometimes sometimes people call me and say uh, can you do bridals and stuff like that so yeah. if i am not doing it I'll, i just call them and i just pass on the business to them yeah, yeah. so I, i think it's it's something unique you do that yeah. when you're passionate about doing something whether it's designing or whatever it is whatever the form of art you're doing i think you are unique on your own way and there's no point that nobody's going to steal your chance or anything like that so you just have to be confident in what you're doing and then uh, be supportive to others and keep going you know this you are unique no one can steal your position yeah that is the yeah. thing <laughs> i mean if you're being yourself exactly. then you're unique so you don't have to be uh, scared exactly so uh, uh, being supportive to your with your support system within your support system uh, certainly helps you to grow your business and it ultimately helps the entire industry you are in uh, to grow together yeah that's what the uh, celebrity is trying to share with us uh, so speaking of uh, being supportive and uh, you know maintaining relationships maintaining uh, the these soft skills when it comes to uh, your own business it's very important to uh, talk about the uh, qualities as well so i understand you are a very really supportive person and uh, the girls who are known to you who are doing similar brands are also being very supportive so that's definitely one quality that we have developed besides this scenery uh, are there any other qualities that you have developed in yourself or let gone uh, as opposed to your version 10 years back you know for five years back that has ultimately helped your brand that has ultimately helped your business to become what it is let's talk about those uh i think i have uh, mainly i have boosted up my uh, self confidence okay. more to be taking risks and uh, doing uh, the things i like because uh, i think i used to be a little bit on the comfort zone sometimes and uh, uh, now i'm not like that i'm totally out and doing what i love and what i want to be doing and the other thing i think uh, being resilient whenever we fail in life it's not that we always succeed yeah. there are situations and uh, i i used to be pretty sensitive okay. and uh, about those things being sensitive is a good thing but uh, then you have to always yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, what i do now is i always uh, step out of my head and then look at the situation because i think any situation is bigger inside our heads than yeah. it's in reality yeah. so <laughs> whatever it is the brand or anything i uh, kind of uh, step out and look at it from a different point of view so that i understand now this is something small and like how i should overcome it and stuff like that so becoming resilient is also pretty important in a business and uh, plus Yeah. Okay. So like let go. People say that you know, uh, I was a person with uh, bad temper, with patience, things like that. Anything else that I have, have actually so much patience. Okay. And, uh, you are naturally no, no bad temper. temper. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> naturally <laughs> happy, you know. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it's basically uh, her uh, ingredients uh, in terms of qualities. have been uh, confidence as well as uh, being a uh, resilient has uh, certainly helped her uh, in her journey and she personally i think believes that resilience and confidence uh, takes you a long way so i think that adds a lot of advice as valuable advice to the female entrepreneurs out there who are already on their venture uh, and also the girls who would like to start something yeah. on their own uh, and wondering what sort of a personality i should be uh, if i want to start something on my own so uh, thanks uh, senuri finally uh, i would like to ask you about the knowledge areas that you have to uh, have when you are on your own because unlike working for a corporate environment where you have a focused job uh, where you do a focused role with uh, some boundaries of knowledge when it comes to your own business you have to become an all rounder so when it comes to this learning the uh, fin- having financial literacy marketing uh, you know planning your promotions then your subject is uh, 
tremendously uh, technical, like very technical. So learning the technicalities. There's a lot of there are a lot of elements that you have to uh, gain. So let's talk about the knowledge areas that you have developed in yourself, and more importantly, how did you learn this? Is it uh, is there an investment that's required for this, or is it really uh, available out there? Let's talk about it. Okay, so uh, I think when you are passionate about something, uh, first what you do is you try to learn that either you do a degree or something out of it. So that was like the beginning of my knowledge as well. But then uh, I believe uh, just uh, just like doing a degree or something is not enough. I think you always have to step into the industry and get some experience for yourself because uh, a business has a lot of areas. Then uh, when you are a designer, it's, it's not just be about being a designer. There are so many things that you have to handle by yourself. So it's always good to uh, get a bit of experience uh, by working in the industry. And also, when you talk about knowledge, I think it's it's just fingers away. You you can always surf the internet and YouTube and figure out a lot of things. Uh, so if you want to learn, if you are willing to learn, knowledge is out there. Always you can just uh, you know, search for it and then learn how to do it. It's uh, and uh, unlike those days now, we have so many repositories, learning management systems. Yeah, we, we have so many online learning systems exactly. actually, even degrees. You, exactly. you can get anything online yeah. these days. You can just apply and uh, figure things out. So I think if you are willing to do something, uh, it's good to uh, get the knowledge you want because, uh, especially in a business, you need to be knowing about the marketing and uh, how to manage your funds and uh, even the promotions, online promotions, when you are doing online businesses, uh, how to target the customers through your promotions and get the right kind of customers. Uh, and then get the loyal customer base for yourself. So all of that is really important. And uh, yeah, so knowledge. I think uh, if someone is willing to learn, it's all out there. It's all out there. You can easily uh, learn everything. Yeah. So uh, this is a question that was asked uh, by our viewers uh, after watching the previous segment. So I would like to uh, direct that question to you about funds. So the question is uh, so basic that can you start something on your own with a, a limited fund or do you need to have a significant fund but ladies let me tell you it certainly depends on the sort of venture that you are planning to start. Some ventures certainly needs a bigger capital whereas some ventures can be started with a little capital so that's uh, completely up to the brand that you are trying to uh, develop. Uh, but let's talk about uh, something that's important uh, to everyone out there. How did you find the funds? Is it uh, through your savings or did you go for loans? Did you lobby support from your family, friends, relations? If you uh, don't mind, Senuri, let's enlighten them about that as well. Alright, so in my case, uh, I always knew that I uh, want to end up with one of my own design labels. That is something that was inside my head uh, since so long. So uh, when I was working in industry and all that, I used to save. I ah. used to save with a god. So I had savings uh, to start up the brand. And even when I'm starting the brand, I always uh, looked at the opportunities where I can reduce the budgets and uh, get the same outcome, same quality also. So for a reasonable price. So I was looking at all of those things while investing because uh, I think uh, just uh, spending so much of money at the initial stage without having a clue, uh, I think that's not going to work. So I was uh, looking at many places and uh, different different price ranges and everything and I was uh, setting, uh, settling for the budget that I can manage. But I think if anyone's willing to start up a business and if they don't have any savings, I think there are so many plans from current banks and stuff to get loans for your personal businesses and then uh, I think you can, uh, I don't think you need like a huge amount of money to start up something but it's it's more about how you earn out of it and how you rotate your profits into investments again. So that is how uh, you should manage it and uh, it's also about how you target the customers. 
when you do something, you need to know that this is going to sell. This should be selling. So uh, it's pretty important that uh, what you are going to make as a business, what is the product you are going to deliver, and the condition of the, of the product, the quality of the product. So if everything is on a good standard, then you can have a loyal customer base also. And uh, in that case, you can target, okay, I'm going to have this much of sales uh, this month, and uh, then you can target your profit, and then you can rotate everything into investments. So initial stage, I would say you can't go for like higher profits and all that. You have to bear a little. Yeah. But uh, going forward, you can manage. It's, uh, it's a journey anyways. It's a journey of growth. You have to have commitment and then uh, keep, keep going. going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Believe so, in yourself and that you're going to succeed. Yeah. So uh, I think research goes a long way. So before starting your venture, having uh, the hands-on uh, experience is important, and uh, some level of knowledge is also uh, key. And if you are starting, uh, I think research is of paramount importance. Uh, you need to really know that your product, that your service is sellable, and uh, you know the whatever the how much funds you need for each uh, stage, each element. Uh, can be easily understood if you do a good degree of research, I think. So, we were in conversation with Senui, uh, the founder CEO of Adobe Clothing. Uh, we had a very insightful discussion with her where she discussed how she uh, started her journey, uh, what are the challenges she uh, came across and how she had succumbed to the pressure. Also, she uh, discussed how she managed her funds and uh, the sort of knowledge areas that she developed in herself uh, to bring Adobe clothing to what it is today. So, uh, before winding up, I would like to go through some of the beautiful designs uh, done by Senuri uh, for Adobe clothing. Uh, so, this is her brand and she is a, is a complete online store. So let's walk through a little uh, bit about the designs. Uh, so would you like to talk a little about these, how you come up with the designs and you know some any, any uh, inspiration behind this? Yeah, uh, any, uh, okay the first stage uh, is always the research okay. and the current trends and uh, how is it going about the colors and all of that and then uh, the fabrics uh, about the comfort level and being stylish and, and what I noticed is these uh, fabrics are certainly suitable to a country like Sri Lanka <laughs> yes. you know I think it's mostly cotton uh, this one is linen yeah. yeah okay linen and uh, yeah. linen cotton silk so she has uh, all sorts of uh, material used in her uh, designs which are very unique uh, so uh, we have more designs which we will be uh, taking into our pictures and you can see a photo stream of those on uh, Instagram of Inspire Me. Let's talk about how Senuri can be reached out, how you can reach out to Adobe Clothing uh, to get yourself a uh, few of these uh, beautiful pieces. So Adobe Clothing is there on Facebook and Instagram. So let's talk about the handles and uh, how they can place orders, whether they can place customized orders with you. And if you are happy to extend a helping hand in terms of advice to anyone, uh, let's uh, say how they can reach you uh, without the contact uh, numbers and all that. <laughs> let's talk about the uh, social media platforms. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, Adobe is an online brand currently, and uh, you can reach out to us uh, through our Instagram page, which is Adobe Exclusive Clothing, and also our Facebook page, Adobe Clothing. And uh, we have a website, uh, Adobe Clothing LA, which uh, you can check. So you can actually purchase through the website or uh, you can just DM our Insta uh, Instagram page and also our Facebook page. So we get back to everyone. And uh, yes, even if you need a happy hand, uh, you can still uh, contact the pages. Uh, so uh, I would be getting the uh, messages and I would be uh, getting back to you all. Yeah. So, uh, the support is extended in terms mm -hmm. of advice. Uh, I do not think she can uh, afford to uh, 
offer you support in terms of funding to all sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> so if you need an advice uh, as to how you can get started with a fashion brand on your own and if you need some knowledge around it, I yes, say, sure. please just uh, DM away. So uh, reach out to Adobe Clothing and follow uh, Adobe Clothing on Facebook and Instagram and she mentioned about the official website of Adobe Clothing as well. Uh, the links to all these pages and the website will be in the description of this video where you can simply click and go and like and follow them. In addition to uh, Adobe Clothing, uh, please follow Inspire Me as well on Facebook and Instagram at inspireme.ceylon and you are watching the Inspire Me YouTube channel. So subscribe to the channel as well as uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon as well so every time we have an insightful and inspiring conversation with an entrepreneur like Senuri, you will be notified then and there. Uh, so finally, a big shout out to all the uh, female entrepreneurs out there like Senuri who are uh, on a daily hustle, mm -hmm. I would say, to you know keep get going with their brand. Uh, so we will be bringing in another exciting episode like this to you very soon. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.